Hey guys, so today we're going to be talking about the different types of global winds, and this goes along with weather because um, these global winds also affect and impact our weather. So um, what we have here is global winds are the wind that flows from the poles towards the equator. It, however, does not flow in a straight line. So each hemisphere has three wind belts. So we're going to be talking about three different types of wind. There are looping air patterns and different pressures that cover the earth. Global winds are also the overall airflow. Then there are the local winds that affect your local weather. So um, this video, this presentation is pretty in-depth. So I'm going to go over this and then um, kind of break it down for you. So our first wind is called trade winds. You also call these easterlies. So um, winds are named by the direction where they come from. So trade winds are also called easterlies. So in the middle right here, I know you can't see me pointing, but in the middle you see NE, ooh, there we go, northeast trade winds and southeast trade winds. So these are both, you see they have an E on them, east. So these are also called easterlies. So they are flowing from east to west. And we'll go over this um, globe later in the week as well. So prevailing winds that blow, so trade winds are prevailing winds that blow from east to west from 30 degrees latitude to the equator in both hemispheres. So you see this chart here, we have all kinds of different wind patterns going on. So these winds are known as trade winds because in the 18th and 19th centuries, many trading ships sailed these winds. So they were sailing from east to west. So that's why we call these trade winds or easterlies. So next we have westerlies. So these, um, we call these prevailing westerlies. So they are named after the direction they come from. So they flow from west to east. They blow from west to east. Um, these are winds that blow from west to east in the temperate climate zones. These winds are responsible for, remove, for moving weather across the United States. So you see in, um, we have the westerlies, not these two in the middle, but the two um, on the outer edges of the two in the middle. So these are westerlies that are blowing west to east, and these are the winds that move weather across the United States. These are winds that blow from west to east between 30 and 90 degrees latitude. Some of the descending air moving towards the poles is deflected by the Coriolis effect, which is why the winds curve. So we said in the beginning of the video, the winds do not move in a straight line. They curve because of the Coriolis effect, which is caused by Earth's rotation. The westerlies blow through the, United, through the United States, so you can see they're blowing west to east, and we are impacted by that. Next we have polar easterlies, so these are the very tops and very bottoms that uh, impact the poles. So you can see these are called polar easterlies, so that means they're blowing east to west. Um, these are winds that blow from east to west in the polar climate zone. So these are very cold winds because our poles are cold. <clears throat> they blow east to west between 60 and 90 degrees latitude in both hemispheres. So we have the very top and the very bottom. The polar easterlies is a zone of low pressure, which is what separates the westerlies from a third wind belt in each hemisphere. So we have different... Um, three different belts of wind, and they impact our weather. So in conclusion, wind belts, which are our prevailing westerlies, our trade winds, also known as easterlies, and then our polar easterlies. So in conclusion, wind, wind belts are the result of pressure differences of the equator. The different wind patterns only last for 30 degrees. That's why we separate them by 30 degrees. The air pressures, go from high to low, convection cells are looping wind pattern in each hemisphere. So we talked about at the beginning of our unit that wind is caused by a 
change in pressure from high to low. All right, so I'm gonna get out of this and I'm gonna go to this slide and we're going to just look at a little conclusion here. So winds are named for the direction where they come from, not the direction that they blow towards. So westerlies come from the west, um, easterlies are coming from the east. So here's our three types. We have prevailing westerlies, which is our winds, polar easterlies, and trade winds, also known as just easterlies. Um, we're going to look at this really quick, and we'll look at this throughout the week. Um, isn't it? So, I was going to draw on this, but I don't know where my little thing is. If you'll bear with me, I will. Uh, no, I don't know how to get out of here. Hold on. Let me pull up my little active aspire. Just take a break for now while this loads. I should have already had this up, but I turn off my computer and it goes away. No, cancel. I want the pin. And back here, 10%. Sorry. Okay, here we go. So, if you look at our um, polar easterlies, our polar easterlies are right here. Right here. So these are our polar easterlies. I'm going to put east as short. So these are winds up below from east to west, and you can see those arrows. Between 60, you see our 60 right here, and 90 degrees latitude. Um, and you also have them down here, they're both east to west, between 60 and 90 degrees latitude. These are our polar easterlies. Next, we have our westerlies. These are winds that blow from west to east. And these are between 30 and 60 degrees latitude. We also have them down here. Blowing from west to east between 30 and 60. And our middle ones are the trade winds. These are also known as easterlies, just easterlies, not polar easterlies, just easterlies or trade winds. These are winds that blow from east to west between zero and 30. See that here and here. All right, and so later in the week, we'll fill out a chart that goes over this, but if you have any questions, please let me know. Sorry that it took me so long to get up the um, little drawing, but thank you.